Hey friends, it's Crystal. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we share all things booth life, booth related, like junking trips, thrift store hauls, vintage makeovers. We share printables that you can download and sell in your booth over on our blog and just all kinds of um, booth resources. So if you like this kind of content, please hit the like button and um, subscribe to be notified the next time we do a video. You guys have really shown an interest in this smaller booth that I featured in a video about a week ago. So I wanted to touch on this a little bit more and show you guys that you can make a smaller booth work for you, especially one that just has two walls like this one. As you can see, this is kind of already an awkward size and awkward looking booth because I'm at the base of a staircase and there was nothing up there but storage, but I needed to allow clearance for the owners to go up and down the stairs. The booth is eight feet long and it's only six feet wide, which was essentially up to the white line. Um, but I was going to actually cover that with a rug, but you can see that strip going down the center. And I didn't want it to be a trip hazard. I didn't want anybody to get in there and fall. So I um, painted the back wall gray because that stripe going down the center was driving me crazy. But as soon as I saw this booth, I knew I just had this vision. I knew I could make it super cute. And at this stage in my life, I didn't have a lot of stuff. So, you know, it just made sense to take a smaller booth. And this was a new shop. So they allowed everyone to choose the paneling they wanted. And you can see I went with the faux barn wood. I'm over on the left, the dealer across from me. She went with a shiplap look. And I'm in the process at this point here looking for the picket fence boards, which I had to be a little bit different. I could have done the shiplap, but I wanted to stand out a little bit more. Um, but I got those at Lowe's and they were like $1.25 per board. Lord knows lumber's gone through the roof, so it's probably more than that because this was last summer. But it's all starting to come together now and I am loving the back wall. But, um, I knew I didn't have a lot of big stuff, so I just thought, you know, I'm going to go with shelving on that back wall. But here is the after. This is the, um, I'm sorry, I don't have a better picture than this. But the wall was painted with that really pretty color called Agreeable Gray. I've got the picket fence up and um, I had the old couch springs installed in the top. And so I just went to my local lumber yard and got the eight foot boards. I knew I wasn't going to hang anything heavy on them, or I'm sorry, sit anything heavy on them. So I um, decided not to do the middle bracket. But it was just a lot easier to do the shelving. I had so many knickknacks at this point because, you know, at this stage in my life, I just don't have the time to get out and junk and pick and find all of the true antiques and vintage. So I decided to do the shelving and I left it high enough that I was still able to get some stuff under it. You can see there's an old chest in there and I have the lid open. So I just made sure that bottom shelf was high enough to get like a, an end table under it. But this was taken opening day and you can see I got a good bit of stuff in there for a booth this size. And then this is looking back at the other side of that picket fence wall. I just happened to have this old table that um, I slapped some paint on and put it in there and made it work. But you can see my inventory is literally just a hodgepodge of home decor and thrift store stuff. Um, you know, not the good antiques and the vintage stuff because again, just having that time to get out and pick and find it. And I still don't have the time. <laughs> my plate is full and I'm no longer at this shop. It's called the Wandering Rose. They're located in Carrollton, Georgia. I really appreciate having the opportunity to have been with them but um, I'm not there anymore, but I'll link their description info in the bottom in case you guys want to visit. And here it's starting to look a little cluttered, but um, I'm just showing all this, hoping you guys can get some inspiration and, you know, let you know that you can make a smaller space work for you, especially if you do the shelving. But, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Don or I. We can try to answer any questions and help you. But hopefully this has given you a little bit of inspiration. And um, we will see you in the next one.